Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Connection with the Willie Comic Book We've made it through these X Men and Avengers books, and now it's time to move on to begin on this week's Spider Man books. So, this week's Spider Man books, we two videos because, well, one of them's a bit long. And that, that, that long one is Spine Tingling Spider Man, number zero. So, this is uh, our second uh, book uh, collecting a. Uh, Marvel Limited Digital uh, Story, that being the initial spine-tingling Spider-Man uh, story that appeared on Marvel's digital app. There is, starting next month, there will be a spine-tingling Spider-Man miniseries, which I believe is continuing the story from, continuing uh, the story from this. But uh, anyway, so, Peter Parker's having trouble sleeping. In his dreams, he keeps hearing this song. And uh, his, his dream, his sleep isn't all that restful because of it. Um, he fights some robot drones, but uh, the lack of rest is kind of getting to him. Trying to figure, he takes, he's trying to figure out what, who the robot drones are working for. A child starts seeing the song, but and also is having some an odd uh, reaction to it. Um, a woman's humming the tune, but uh, turns out, turns out the robot drones were working for Spencer Smythe, a longtime Spider-Man villain, who I guess she was dead for a while. But um, Spidey deals with Swart with Smythe. And Smythe's new, new Spider Slayers. Eventually taking on Smythe to reveal a robot. Finding the real Smythe, who's singing the song, and uh, appears to be a ghostly entity starts reaching out from Smythe's mouth, grabs Spidey, and drags him into a spiritual realm. The entity itself is now going after May. Peter gets to May's and, well, finds May unconscious, singing the song, and uh, with the same ghostly uh, tendrils coming from her, from her open mouth. Once again, Peter, now looking more like a child in the spirit realm, is uh, fights the same thing, but. You know, just remember himself and uh, May is saved, but Peter's not really happy, and so that he climbs an odd-looking uh, tower in the city. There's some waiting on him. It appears to be the uh, the physical form related to the uh, entity he's been fighting in the spirit realm. Him and Peter duke it out. Um, Peter ends up back in the spirit realm fighting a, yet another monstrous creature. And finding everyone that's been affected by uh, the entity inside as well. So Spidey rescues them, defeats the creature. And uh, manages to get to get uh, special reinforcements. And then he's back to the real world, as are those who were affected by the song. Peter goes home and uh, apparently can't sleep. And that is where the story ends. As I said, this is basically setting up an upcoming uh, spooky season themed Spider-Man miniseries, which kicks off next month. I figure that uh, what happened was the story on Marvel Limited was uh, fairly popular, so um, Salad and Ahmed and Juan Ferreira were uh, contacted about continuing the story. So, But uh, interesting setup. We'll have to see how the uh, miniseries plays out. Um, as always, 
feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Big shout out to Patreon patrons Xander Lee. Thank you so much for your support. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Mastodon, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.